So today's video is a very special video. We're celebrating 100 episodes on this cluster series. Can you believe it? 100 episodes already. So I figured if we were gonna do episode 100, we gotta do something relating to 100. So we're gonna be giving birth to 100 Reapers here today. And this is the first one. Boom! God, it's so horrifying, but I love it so much. Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna let this thing kill me because I have some meat in my inventory and also it's very mean. Oh man. Okay, so that is number one. We have 99 more Reapers, but that bitch ain't one. Guys, this is crazy. 100 episodes already. It does not feel like we've done that many, but at the same time, I feel like we've done a lot of things on here. I don't know. It's like a weird feeling because like one hand, it's like, oh my God, like it feels like we just started. But on the other hand, it's like we've done all of this crazy stuff. So I really, it, it's a very strange feeling, but um, it's also a great day because you may have noticed the rebrand went live last night. So uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I know a lot of people are very hyped about it so far, and I'm really happy with the reaction, but let me know what you think down below. Uh, oh crap, it missed me. No. Okay, I'll go over this trap and stuff in a minute, but I also want to go over some awesome other news. So, um, yeah, episode one of this series actually just hit a million views the other day, which is very exciting. Oh, it's making me mash. Wildcard, look away. That's very exciting. Like, episode one hits one million views, episode 100 becomes a thing, it's it's crazy. And also, episode one is the most liked video on my channel, and it's closing in on 50k likes right now. So it's probably gonna be at that by the time this video goes up. Oh man, okay, here, let me let me show you guys my whole system. Oh crap, I chucked away my ammo. Uh, let me grab that real quick. So, we, we get pregnant by the Reaper Queen. We go ahead and uh, hatch out an egg. We kill the baby. Of course, you know, we gotta kill babies here on this channel. Oh my god, this sounds awful. <laughs> it's the best way to level, okay? Uh, so there we go, baby's dead. We gotta go ahead and clean up that dead baby. And, um, and then we gotta go ahead and dump all this stuff away. Uh, okay. What I need to grab is the meat and then a little bit from the trough. Oh, we forgot the spear and then the shield. We gotta like make this a well-oiled system right now because like, you know, we don't have that much time between them. So we definitely need to make sure that uh, I get everything ready for the next Reaper King to be popping out. And I could probably go ahead and hitch that previous one. So I'm gonna name them all as we go along. I have 10 little chambers here, so we're probably gonna fill these up and then make sure they're all raised up and fully imprinted. And then after that, I'll do like another batch of 10. So by the end of this video, we're gonna have 100 Reapers to check out and we can use them for boss fights. We could use them for just a giant army or I could just chuck them all at the King Titan and see what happens. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I'll probably save all the like super best ones off to one side and maybe at some point if you guys wanna see it, we could do some breeding or something like that. We got 52 seconds until this next one pops out. Guys, I just wanna say I'm very excited for for the next few months and everything. We've got the rebrand, we've got like freaking Genesis is coming out. Like there's just so much happening right now. And I want to say thank you so much for all the awesome support. And uh, if you have enjoyed this series or if you enjoy this video, go ahead and do me a favor, hit the like button. You may also see we have so many new like assets to be using in videos and like around social media and stuff like that. New syntax assets and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I hope everybody really enjoys all that stuff. All right, how long until this? 17 seconds. All right, well, there's probably no point of me cutting ahead to it or is there? Yes, there is, and boom! Oh my god, I'll, I'll never get over this. This is so cool, I love it so much. Boom, <laughs> number two! Hey, buddy! We gotta make sure we don't open up the gate when we do this. Okay, I claimed you, right? It's funny, when you claim the Reaper Kings, oh, there we go. When you claim them, it doesn't give you an option to name them. Does it do that for other babies? I'm pretty sure it does, right? Fairly certain that it does, although maybe it doesn't, never mind. Yeah, no, I'm thinking of taming. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. Anyway, I swear I play this game a lot. Anyway, um, so yeah, next one, we gotta just keep going here. Let's grab another one. Oh man, so yeah, I'm not gonna show absolutely every single like birthing in this video because it's just like so many, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep you guys updated with all these as we go along. Uh, hey, look at me. Oh, there you go. So um, yeah, here we go, number, oh, okay, yeah. Sometimes that will happen. The reason why that happens is because the tail like glitches into the gate. This trap is great, it's not flawless, okay? There's probably something better out there, but I personally like this trap because I made it myself. Um, I designed this a couple years ago and it just, it works really well, like 95% of the time, and then sometimes it just kind of messes up. So 
I don't know, super easy to make, super easy to trap them. And uh, here, I'll roll a clip of how to actually make it. Okay, so to build this, it's really simple. You need everything you see in my hotbar. So we have the 12 foundations. So we wanna go ahead and place those down as like a three by four. And there we go. By the way, none of these items are modded at all. So you can completely do this with vanilla stuff. Then you want to go ahead and put a gate right here. Well, gate frame. And then another one roughly over here. If you want, you could probably put down the foundation uh, little fence thingies if you want to try and like properly position them. But you can roughly place them. All you need is for this corner here to be open and then that corner there to be open. They don't have to be perfect. And then all you got to do is just place your behemoth gate right along here. But I can't place it too close or else it's gonna properly intersect, which is not good, because then I won't be able to place down that. Okay, we can, cool. So uh, at this point, now we need to go ahead and get ourselves a Reaper. So, you know, you probably would have one that you could lead over. And then the best method is not to have the gate on just yet. Wait for the Reaper to actually get through. Wait for it. And then, you know, you could be on the back of a creature and like easily place this. And there we go. It's completely trapped and it cannot get away after it poops a baby into your chest. Great part about this is I could just stand behind this wall right here and it can't actually hit me. Oh, there we go. Nice. This is going to work. So sometimes I actually like to jump up into it. I probably don't need to be doing that, but I don't know. It has better aim if I actually jump into its tail. All right, here we go. I'm going to be featured on Teen Mom this season. Look at this. Holy crap. Number three already. Uh, why do I keep going into there? I gotta move the eggs into there or something. You know what? Actually, let's just grab a bunch of these eggs. So I'm hatching up Rex eggs uh, to go ahead and give me the XP that is needed to boost these dudes up to max. Uh, max level on my server is 180, and that Reaper right there is a 180, but the, uh, the Reaper extra bonus levels only go up by 75, which is half of what max level is on official. So kind of, it's kind of weird the way it doesn't scale, but um, speaking of scaling, this right here, that did not give me 50,000 XP before people think that it actually did. Totally did not do that. The reason why that happens is because that actually scales with your hatch rate, I believe. So whatever your hatching speed is, it's going to determine how much time this thing goes up by. Because I think on official, it's like 24 hours. And then it's also going to determine uh, the XP. Because like it, the XP scales... So if you have it as like default, then it's default XP. But if you have it boosted, then it's boosted XP. It, it's it's kind of strange and maybe hard to understand, but uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have these two and this one's already into its second form. You should need an imprint soon. You can't use the nanny on Reapers. I remember last time when I did this, I completely forgot about that at one point. Uh, okay, so there we go. Second one is there. Let's get into our chamber and get ready for birthing number three and uh, Oh my god. By the way, actually, here's one thing that we need to talk about. Have you guys seen the new Genesis reveals? I've put up tons of videos and all of it, but uh, they showed us a really cool preview of like a bunch of the biome specific creatures. They're called Gen R creatures. They had it as Gen X and then it was apparently a typo, so I'd already put out my video and that's embarrassing. But anyway, yeah, so the, there's actually a Gen R Reaper in case you are not familiar with it and it looks dope. So maybe at some point when we have the Genesis series or in the future, we could probably do something similar to this on there if they're tameable in the same way they might not be to be honest oh my god look at this belly you know what actually hang on what would happen if i was like lying down does it like do you think the animation would just happen the exact same or because this would actually be kind of an interesting angle to see that happen at i don't think it will i feel like it's gonna like prop me up onto my feet and then i'm gonna give birth i don't really know look at all those dead syntax back there they don't even eat them they just kill them for sport all right here we go two seconds and it's probably gonna make me stand right Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and a boom. Oh my god, it's so horrifying, but it's so cool. I love the Alien franchise, so this is like the best thing for me ever. Um, All right, there we go. Death number, number three, <laughs> Reaper number three. Oh my god. All right, so yeah, we're going to skip ahead a little bit. I'm going to keep doing all this and keeping you guys updated a little bit along the way. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just going to get way too repetitive if I keep trying to show these off. You know what? I completely forgot to mention the colors that we actually got on these Reapers. I was just too, like, preoccupied by, like, everything that's going on. Um, Let's see. We got the cool orange, which I... Oh my god, wait, what? That thing got a 50% imprint all at once? Really? I don't remember that ever happening, but okay. It's only 25% grown. Damn. All right. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for any of my maturation settings or anything, check out episode one. Yeah, that's right. I'm driving more views to that video. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. So the colors that we actually got are pretty nice. We got the orange, which is the second best color that you can get on natural reapers. 
I honestly would have loved to be able to do this during an event to get some really cool colors and maybe we will try to do that at some point because that would be amazing or we could just maybe do some mutations with some mods at some point I don't know what do you guys think but anyway yeah so there's the blue uh, in the place of this orange and then there's this orange so I actually kind of like this one too I mean the blue is definitely better but this orange is quite nice too I really like it the way it like looks at the tail especially uh, but anyway, yeah, so that is that one imprinted once we need to get it imprinted again in a little bit um, How close are you? Do we have time? Yeah, we have time to get pregnant real quick <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna keep this train rolling. We've done four Reaper pregnancies So let's get number five So I think it goes without saying that I'm definitely benefiting from having better like maturation rates and all these other rates on my server But I do want to just mention this type of thing is actually possible on official except obviously you'll need more than one person you know like if you've got a tribe full of like 20 people you could all get pregnant in the same day and have like a mass birthing come on buddy kill me there you go so uh yeah like i just basically wanted to throw that out there obviously yes on my server i have super awesome breeding rates and all that and that means that i could just pump out like these babies through my chest all day long but yeah this type of thing is for sure actually possible on servers without such great breeding rates and stuff are you seriously healed up already okay we got to go hit it again oh man all right so yeah we're gonna get back to it uh that was baby number five uh baby number four came out a little bit unfortunately so i gotta go ahead and uh pop it back in or maybe i could just leave it there to be honest uh let's go ahead and uh get this thing hurt down to 10 percent oh we're getting kind of glitchy there we go let's hit it like twice that should be enough i don't really want to risk it though uh, you can't magnifying glass off the back of a Therizino, so can't really tell. All right, are you going to glow? You are glowing. Awesome. So I figured that we'd come back for a very special Reaper number 69. Yeah, I, I am. I am like that. I am. I'm a 26 year old man with a mortgage, a house and a wife, and I'm never going to change. <laughs> Oh, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. This was not planned. <laughs> I actually just like, I, I got to the point where I was like, okay, I need to take a break. I piled up a bunch of dead syntax and I just took a break. And uh, we just happened to have 68 of them. So I figured I'd at least come back for this one. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? We need more eggs actually. Let me go ahead and grab some. So yeah, uh, things have been going good. Like it's taking a long time, obviously. And yes, I know I have increased rates, blah, 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 blah. It's still gonna take a long time no matter what even if it was instant it would still take a long time even if it only took a minute it would still take a long time um so yeah it's it's very time consuming but it's fine you know what it's okay i don't mind doing meaningless repetitive tasks constantly <sighs> yeah <laughs> so yeah uh this will be number 69 like we got what is after this uh we've got 31 more to go so we're two-thirds of the way there which is great I just kind of want to be done and then just take like a proper rest and then oh man I gotta sort through all of them and, and, and figure out which ones are the good ones and oh I was still hurt there um yeah this is gonna be an absolute pain so like I can already see there's a couple of them that are good here like this one here has an amazing food stat because you know you kind of want a huge amazing food stat uh this one here has an amazing melee or not melee <laughs> movement speed stat Oh my god, yeah, so this is gonna be a major pain going through them all and like finding all the best ones It's a lot easier when there's like five or six But like there's gonna be 100 and I'm gonna have to be like, okay best health is 31 38 now still 38 still 38 still 38 still 30 <laughs> So oh look oh 40 amazing. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna be a big mess and plus um, They're not actually in order even though I'm naming like r1 uh, I was gonna just number them like one two and three but like it doesn't work that way because of um I don't think you can actually put like one single character as the creature's name it has to be at least two but uh so it goes one ten and then it goes up through the uh the oh crap <laughs> it goes up up to 20 or 19 then and and yeah um so here we go uh, let's go ahead and give birth for the 69th time on camera for you guys to watch lovely love it um, I've kind of resorted to just quickly just putting them away like that and then just putting them back out because <laughs> it's uh, 
it's too painful trying to like deal with them and i don't want to constantly die as well it, i feel like it's just kind of getting annoying so yeah there we go we're just gonna go ahead and leave you there for a couple minutes while i go ahead and get pregnant 31 more times um yeah i went ahead and also piled up a bunch of syntax there was more but i guess some of them have disappeared since since i left uh yeah all right, back to it, back to the teen pregnancy. Okay, so we have done the 100 Reaper birthings and my chest really hurts. I don't, I don't even know if that's ever gonna heal at this stage. <sighs> okay, so I've also went through all of the Reapers as well. And uh, actually one thing before we do that, uh, I, I, I finished all the Reapers, okay? Um, and then I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna go to bed. I, I'm tired. So then I went to bed and then I woke up, came up here, opened up the game, and then it was just gone. <laughs> I did see it burrowing though, to be fair. Oh, 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 wait, 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 hang on. It's back apparently. What the hell? It's like it hurt me. It's still there apparently. I don't, I can hear it. You know what? Hang on. Okay, I thought maybe it might technically be there, but like invisible. But yeah, apparently it's in the ground. So the reason why that would have happened is probably because when the game was loading, the Reaper loaded before the foundations, and then it was like, okay, I'm a head out. So yeah, um, I don't, I don't know if if it will ever actually come out. I don't. I mean, it sounds like it's just walking around, doesn't it? Huh. Don't even understand. All right. Well, anyway. <sighs> Let's go over the stats. So, um, okay, I have them written down in front of me here. This is an absolute pain to do. <laughs> so yeah, um, the best health out of all of the Reapers is Reaper number 20 with 49 points into it and the imprint, which brings it up to 29,000. So that's really good for just a starting point with the Reaper. I mean... Yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't have like imprint, like extra imprint buff or anything like on this series and I never have. So yeah, th that's, you know, that's an acceptable and like manageable number that you could get if 180s did spawn on official. Also, I feel like we should probably mention um, 49 points into something when they're this level is kind of crazy. Like you got to take into account that um, a lot of the creatures that I tame, like they come out at like, wait, no. I'm being dumb. No, don't even finish that sentence attack. Yeah, wh what is wrong with me? No, they come out at like 270, don't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm really dumb. I'm, I'm clearly very tired because I was about to say they come out at like 300, but no, what am I talking about? 180, if I tame that, it would come out as like a 269. So yeah, never mind. Anyway, 49 points into health is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Okay, next up we have the stamina, and the best stamina was on Reaper number 99, but I also had another Reaper with identical stamina. So the stamina is 50 points, bringing up to 2,880, just short of 3k. That's really good. That is extremely good. We'll never have to pump a single level into that stat because of how good that is. Um, technically, we wouldn't even need a melee that high, but that's that's honestly great. So uh, when it comes to all the other stats, I, I really didn't care about oxygen or food. And you know what? Like normally I care about weight, but like there's just so many Reapers. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe I'll go through it and figure out what the best weight is. But I mean, this one has 38 points. So that's pretty good. And I'd be okay about using that one anyway. The next stat is the melee. And uh, let me tell you, I am extremely disappointed. Oh, well, it was Reaper number six, but we got to find that one. Uh... Hang on. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Which one is it? I'm looking at the uh, the points instead of the actual names of the of the Reapers. It's probably like up here somewhere, right? There we go. 39 points. That's all? That's, that's the best melee. I birthed 100 Reapers from my chest cavity. And the most melee we could get was 39 points. It's, it's still good, okay? Don't get me wrong. That's still good. But at the same time, like, what the hell? I just got shafted. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it, it's good. Like, I'm okay about that. Like, I'm not... I'm obviously not going to do 100 more just to get something better. It would have been nicer if we had gotten something more in line with some of the other stats that we got here, considering how many Reapers. But you know what? It is what it is. 
I would have swapped that stamina for that that melee any day though. Oh god, that would have been so good. But anyway, um, so yeah, we have the health coming in at uh, just short of uh, three. What was it? Thirty thousand. I'm still very tired. Clearly, uh, we have the stamina coming short of three k, and then we have the melee just basically above uh, two hundred or <laughs> four hundred and twenty. Oh my god. Ah, I'm tired. You see, I, I did this for ages. I really did. Um, and I took a couple little breaks, like I said. But you know what? It still took a long ass time. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, um, four hours sleep really didn't do much for me, did it? So yeah, um, hundred reapers. This is incredible. So what we're gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna save those three reapers. So let me actually. Oh my god, I should have grabbed number six. Damn it! Why did I not do that? All right. We got Reaper number 99, which is the stem. We've got Reaper number 20, which is the health. And then number six. Oh, six plus apparently. I accidentally button mashed. I think, yeah. Oh, wait, no. It's not over. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, it is this one. Okay. I was looking at a different stat. So, yeah, there we go. We have all three of those Reapers. Let's go ahead and actually just add an extra little bit to their name just so I know. Um, so, let's see. R20, and then this one here is the health. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll know which one has the best health. And then let's do the other two then. So then this one here was the stem. So R99, uh, stem, and let's go ahead and put you away. All right, where's the last one? Uh, here it is. Okay, R6 melee. Oh, man, it's kind of funny when you look at it like the best melee that I got was on the sixth Reaper, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like I did 94 Reapers after this and I couldn't get a better stat. I don't know. It's kind of like a strange. It's a strange feeling when you see them like all in order like this. It's really weird, right? I, I mean, I think it's weird anyway. So, yeah, we got our, our best stamina basically at the very end although there was another one with with 50 stem and i think that was also down towards the end of the list i think there was like four or five of them between this and that one. Oh my god what the hell just happened there i didn't i didn't even flick up there that was weird all right uh it was definitely down here at the very end somewhere there it is yeah so reaper number 97 had identical stamina to number 99 it's just i saw 99 before i saw 97 so yeah it's it's kind of weird like we get to 97. Oh, amazing best stam. And then two Reapers later, it's like identical. I don't know. Very, very strange. Um, I'm very happy with the health stat for sure. We can pump all the levels into the into the melee when we're probably going to do some mutations on these dudes. Like, uh, let's let's be honest here. Um, I, I want a pure white one. I had one of those way back in the day and it was like the coolest Reaper ever. So we could probably do that at some point. I don't I'm, I'm going to assume it's possible. I didn't mutate back then i actually got that as like an event reaper it was so crazy and awesome anyway um so i think another thing that i probably should have done was try to figure out which one of these reapers is like the best balanced as well because sure these are my best stats but i also need to find a good reaper that we can use and i feel like maybe we should start looking for like a super high health with maybe half decent melee because i don't think that we're gonna get a super good melee anyway considering everything so i might have to look through all these reapers again okay i'll be back okay so i think i found the best one here uh reaper number 85 has 37 points into health uh 37 into melee and then 46 into stem definitely not the best health out of all of the ones that i got but i i feel like this one is a more balanced one because it has good uh stats in all three i mean not so much in the health but you know what like I couldn't actually find another Reaper with good health and a half decent melee. I guess I probably could just go for a slightly lower melee and try and get a higher health, but I'll go with this one. I'll go with this one for the moment. So Reaper number 85 is the lucky winner of being able to be ridden on and, and, and you know, get, and it, it's also going to get to kill things, I guess. Um, you know what we could do, actually? We could try to free the queen and then fight it. Because it should be still really low on uh, on health and everything. So let me go. Oh, my God. We're, uh, why is the game like this? Okay, there we go. I got through. Um, 
All right, let me let me go ahead and pick you up. Uh, do we we should have a gun here somewhere, right? All right, let me see. I'm just gonna. Oh, ooh, it's already. Hey, you wanna you wanna come on out, huh? Oh, I feel like if I pick that up, then this is gonna break. I don't know if it would. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is not okay. Oh my god, it just popped out of nowhere. All right, Queenie, you're gonna die, bitch. Oh my god, it's so much more powerful than I am. Here we go. 400 is what we do. All right, that was embarrassing. We'll just cut that out and uh, like do a manly scream in post. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. We are meeting our maker. There we go. Five Reaper Glads. Amazing. That's that's exactly what you want. So there we go. Now I can officially do no more Reapers. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my God. That is uh. That's kind of hilarious. All right. Let's go ahead and fix our little trap. So uh. Oh. God damn it. I didn't even see that stuff. No. Okay. No. We're good. We're good. It was just burning my skin off just a little bit. So yeah, Reaper number 85, look at, oh, whoa, 43 levels. I guess, you know what, Reaper Queens do give a lot of XP. I, I yeah, I, I can't, I can't really complain. That's, that's actually kind of amazing. Um, okay, well, let's get the health up. Let's try and get that up to like 40K. Can't go too crazy with these stats though. Like this is still vanilla, you know, we only have like, what is it? Like 70 or so levels that we can pump in. So yeah, 40, 40K health is really good, obviously. Um. Let's do like a, a, you know what? Let me grab my gear and then let's do like a little run around. All right, so I healed up the Reaper just a little bit. Um, by the way, yeah, I, I can ride on my Snow Owl on this map. Um, I just had that setting turned on. All right, let's see. Let me see what we can do with this Reaper. I love these things so much. I really do. Like, honestly, Reapers are such cool creatures. I mean, I know that people don't love them as much uh, anymore because like there's so many really good creatures in arc but at the same time i just love the way that you get them i love the way that they look and i love all the abilities that they have because they're just amazing um i wonder if it actually would be an interesting creature to use in the uh in the wyvern queen boss fight is that could you bring it in there that would actually be really cool here's my my kind of thought because you can use this tail attack to uh, make flyers fall out of the sky. I remember that from when I was playing PvP a few years ago, and it was honestly kind of insane. We just destroyed people's, people's wyverns so easily uh, because I guess they didn't realize, oh, do I not have my guy? I guess I don't. Let me go ahead and just get back to base, and uh, we'll go ahead and grab that dude, my little uh, shine horn. But yeah, honestly, they're so cool. They really are. Um, so satisfying to knock people's wyverns out of the sky and then just, you know, pile on them <laughs> oh man all right let's let's get back here come on let's do some more of our jumps i love the way that there's a jump as well i really do honestly yeah just everything about the reaper is just awesome um really big fan really really big fan let's go ahead and hop off and grab our dude sorry little guy wear goat 2.0 all right got you we still need you, because otherwise these pesky nameless will still come after me. Obviously, if I have charge, then we're going to be taking extra damage. But for the moment, I can go ahead and just turn it off. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Do we have anything around here that we can go ahead and fight? I guess we could probably head down to the queen area and just take, take out some of these dudes. Oh, we have things spawning. Hello. Okay, let's get down here. Boom. So yeah, uh, this is the area that you want to come to if you if you want Reaper Queens. Uh, like that's where I built my trap. Uh, you know, I probably should have showed off coordinates, but here you go. Here's like roughly where we are. I'm sure you can figure out how to get over to there, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the area with the Queens. You pretty much just want to come in here and, oh look, we have a Queen right there already. You want to just come in here and, and just find a good Queen. Uh, you might have to build a couple little land bridges to get across. Um, I remember before on like a super old server, like I couldn't find any good queens in this little starting area. And I remember having just like hundreds of like these bridges going all over the place just so I could pull a queen from wherever. I just realized this stuff right here. Yeah, I forgot. These aren't, <laughs> these aren't queens. Look at me. I'm so tired. Yeah, these are the uh, concavenators. I forgot that they also make the dust cloud. 
Um, it was also super annoying to deal with these dudes trying to actually find a queen. Honestly, like they're they're cool, but like they're really annoying on aberration, especially on the surface. Maybe I'll disable them over here. To be honest, probably should have done that. All right, let's uh, let's not go in there. I don't want to deal with those on a reaper. Um, let me go ahead and just do one of those, and then you get one of these as well. Didn't seem to work. Okay, you know what? Let's go into charge, charge mode, and you're dead. Alrighty, well, you know what? I guess we can head over this way instead. Oh man, yeah. Okay, so I'm really hoping that uh, there is actually a way that we can get the uh, Reapers on Genesis. I honestly kind of feel like I would like to go ahead and maybe farm some over there in that Genesis series that we're gonna have. Oh man, this thing's a beast. I love it. I love it so much. Look at all these freaking nameless. Go away. Surely I should be your leader. Look at you guys, pesky. This actually is not a half bad way to get a bunch of nameless venom though, to be honest. Oh my God, look at that thing speeding right through. Jesus, dude. Okay, and there's another dust cloud beside me. They're just all over the place. All right, oh no, it's coming for me. Okay, there we go, now it's dead. Okay, let's turn on the charge and then take care of these dudes. Boom. Yeah, we're not getting any venom here at all. And it's very disappointing. Okay. Um. Come on, there you go, you're dead, awesome. All right, so yeah, Reaper King, definitely an awesome creature. Um, I feel like it would probably be really useful uh, in Genesis missions though. That's one thing that I kind of want to use them for. So I don't know, maybe we could actually try and do some missions with the Reapers uh, in the next little bit. Although I say that, but the Genesis series, Genesis part two series is obviously gonna be starting up in just a few days and this is likely going to be the last cluster video for a good while because I'm going to be focusing on that series of course um so yeah um we'll, we'll try and do that at some point though and if I forget then totally just remind me so yeah there's like there's tons of missions that we need to do on Genesis like all these hunt missions and everything and I feel like maybe Reapers could be a good creature for it because we've got our resistance and we don't have to deal with nameless so I don't have to put myself in charge at all oh man all right let me go ahead and kill this feather light you're dead awesome Alrighty, well guys, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. Like this this video is taken so much out of me, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Episode 100, it definitely deserved an awesome thing like this. 100 Reapers and no good melee stat. Anyway, guys, that is it. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.